guys, Jack or James, welcome back to my channel, and I have Bailey. Is your name a minute, Bailey? Yeah? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Right, okay, right, so we've got Bailey with us today, so we're looking at um, a quad review. Um, it's uh, one that I've noticed, I was actually shopping around in Toys R Us and uh, had a nose around. Normally Toys R Us does really crap toys when it comes to like quad cops and things like that. It's always the really cheap, crappy, tacky stuff. And Bailey actually noticed um, this in the shop, because you want this for Christmas, don't you? Yeah. So it's a bit sort of like thing. So I thought I'd buy it as a review, then we can check to see if it is a decent enough toy that Bailey can have for, for Christmas. You know, so you like it for Christmas? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you like it? Um, I don't know because I see you find yours. Do you know, so you want to? Yeah. So wants to um take over from my business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah carry my YouTube channel. I want to get a bit old, yeah. grotty in my Zimmer frame. You know, take over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay, so right. Bailey's going to be the new presenter when I get a bit too old and I'm on my Zimmer frame. I can't get to this camera anymore or actually sit at this bench, you know. So I'm in my deathbed, you know. So there you go, this is the new guy who's going to take over. He's a bit short at the moment, but he will actually grow, you know. So yeah. that's right. So what we've got here is got the, it's a quadcopter. Um, is it Ray, Ray Vaughan? Make. Ray Vaughan. It does flips and stuff. Oh, Age cool. 14 plus, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, um, batteries, um, uh, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, so that's the box it comes in. So that's what we're going to review. Okay. So first of all, we'll find where's the scissors. You, you, put, you just no. use a screwdriver. Well, no, I, I did have scissors somewhere. Well, there, sorry. Oh. That's really unorganised. So, so we we'll get the scissors, cut the tape. So that it way. Yourself, guys. That's it. Safety. Safety all times on it. That's it. Should never let him have a pair of scissors. No. So, oh, so he's even a minute as well, you know? Yeah, I really can't with scissors. So there we go, so we have the box Ooh. up. So what we've got inside, let's have a look. There, so it's all... Oh, nice. Well, we'll get you out and show you in a sec, because this yeah. is um, hard to see anyway. So the box oh, within the box. So we move the box the way, so... Instructions, no, we'll keep the box. Good. Right, do you, want to, do you want to put that just over there for us? Okay, oh. so... One manual, very thick manual, multiple languages. Um, so, so a quick nose on the English part. What do we have here? Teaches the remote your controls. Um, so let's show you what's in the box. Cool, there's a lot of winded instructions. It's good to read but, it. Yes, yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. What, what do you say? It's good for reading. Good read. So, what do you want to say? You want to point your finger and say, read your manual. Go on. Read your manual, guys. That's it. So, yeah, so it's. Um, Mm, very basic manual, doesn't show any sort of diagrams. I mean, if you aim for a 14 year old, you expect to have some diagrams. Even the Phantom sticks diagrams and pictures of how to fly. I could just put a bit more effort. There's multiple languages, but in theory, the language only supposed to cost two pages, which is useless. So. And you come with a memory stick. No, no, it's not a stick. That's, like that's the LiPo charger. Oh, like so, the charger. yeah. Oh, weird. Right, let's. Like um, it's well stuck down. Okay, so. Let's um, cut all the tapes on the sides. One on here as well. Then cut it towards your fingers. That's it. Safety. Practicing safety, aren't we? Yeah. So get it off. Cut it off. Oh, oh, so wow. So there's the um, quad. quad. It's, made, it's, pla it's very plasticky. It's definitely plastic. Oh, made a very um. Yeah, it's very plasticky, isn't it, Bailey? Yeah. But, um, yeah it not bad. I was expecting it to be sort of um, foam or polystyrene or some sort of cheap, tacky make together, but it's don't don't they look too bad, does it? No. So that's what we've fine. got um, in there, and it's got the battery underneath there. So that's the battery. Not not good. Okay. Um, um, these look like quite large props. Yep. Um, okay. it's, uh, what they've done is on the on the edge of the motors here they've got the motor underneath in this sort of plastic bit and they've stuck the cog at the top cog. and put the blades on a teeth piece bit where they could have just literally just tacked that straight to the prop itself they've done that that way around so some don't like that though but we'll fire it up and we'll see what it looks like apart from that it looks quite nice doesn't it yeah. it's quite nice nice blades bright and colorful green bogey green as we call it basically <laughs> uh, looks like a light there at the back so you can tell which yep. one's front or back. So that's the quad. So you've got green for the front, black on the back of the quad, which is important to know which way it's going to fly. 
very lightweight, isn't it? Yeah. Very lightweight. I don't know. Well, have a feel. What do you think? Very lightweight, isn't it? That fits nice in your fingers. There you go, no, exactly, yeah. So you've got like a dip bits in the middle there, which is a great mm. way of holding it with your fingers. No, no. So go ahead, like holding you're it. Walking, yeah. Like oh, you're holding it that second. Don't drop it. Yo. So you've got a remote controller, which is here, which ain't too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. So what if it comes with GPS? You get spare props. Not good. Come back, one spare props. Not that really yeah, they're, they're, They are very plasticky. Oh my God. Oh. They come with props. But, let's look at that in a second. Uh -huh. That doesn't look good. Where is it? It's spinning around. Oh, look. Comes with props, <laughs> which is great, but comes with tiny little bloody screws to connect them in and outwards. And they've made no effort on sort of quick release or anything like that, basically. So they come with like tiny little screws. And if you hold on to that a second, if you look in the back, I know you can see it on camera, but there's the props oh, yeah. and there's a tiny little spare screws that comes with it as well. If you're aiming at a 14 year old on this, they're going to get lost very quickly. So it wasn't very well thought of on that side. Because then the day, you want props to pop on, pop off. Um, if, if they can do that for an expensive one, because it's not, it's not, it's not um, rocket science, they could have easily done it for this one. So that's let it down actually. I think that's actually let it down. And when it so we've got a USB charger. So that plugs into your PC or Mac. And then the other end will plug into your battery, charge it by the USB port. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, at least it's all small and portable anyway. Okay. But um, should we actually see if it's on it? We've got to check if we've got batteries for this, yeah. No, I don't. I turn it on, but I don't. No, no, it doesn't come with batteries. So let's, um, we are, um, can you get batteries in the controller? I think I've got some anyway. Yeah, so you've got some batteries in there, but I don't know. They normally come with loads of batteries. Most so undo the screw. No, 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 don't put it together yet. That's it. Just do it like that. Yeah. Right, so we need one, two, three, four batteries. And it looks like it's the small ones, which I think. We're going to go about. Yeah, I think it's those ones, the triple A's. So we've got one, two. And it comes with some more spare batteries. Yeah, the trouble is with these, you'll go through a lot, a lot of batteries with those. So what if I've got any old batteries? So the big size drill cells. So um, many batteries. Yep, we should have some more batteries somewhere. Oh, it's so itchy. Well, we have loads of them. So it works, it doesn't come with a camera. Oh, no, he's let down by camera. Yeah, it doesn't have a camera. No, this is really for just for flying with. Yeah. Um, when you're expecting too much. This is... Um, 60 pounds in Toys R Us, so it's 59.99, and uh, like he, he's disappointed already. It doesn't come with a bat, uh, a camera, so can, what, can do you, you what do you expect? It's really designed for just yeah. flying around. Um, I don't think so because I think it would be quite heavy. Oh, yeah. Then you have to have the transmitter, extra battery for it because oh. it's this little battery designed just for this keeping in flight oh, yeah. and stuff. So this is more practicing and stuff with, but um, yeah. It's, uh, I like I like the shape of it. This would be quite nice yeah. as a maybe a, a big style, yeah. you know, big version. Big version. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite lightweight. So we're going to track track down because I'm two batteries short on a remote controller because then we can get get a flight test done in a sec, couldn't we? Yeah. So oh, a minute. Can you reach that remote controller up top there for me? Because that may have the same batteries in the back as well. But yeah. I bet it doesn't. Yes, it does. We need these ones. Woo so we there you go. We've always replaced these anyway. Yeah. So let's move yes. them out. And it only like a small controller for this. So just put them up on the top there, that's fine. So we'll put those in. I need a small controller for this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Right, so we put oh, the screw I back see in. So excited. Yeah. Well I have a nose. Yeah. So let's check make sure this battery's there's enough battery in juice in there. Red comes up. I think that's okay. I think that may be okay. So we'll try. Might be a little bit of juice in the battery. Sometimes they come with them a little bit charged. I think it's, um, some stuff does, some stuff don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. If not, we're going to have to put it on charge. And we have to wait. Oh, it works, guys. Did not fly. Looks good, right? Did not want to fly. Well, it's, it's linking up. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's got flashy red light at the back there. So. That mean it. The red yeah. light mean the. Back. I don't don't think this has got GPS on it at all because it's quite a small toy. Yeah. So it'd be um. Hey, look. Oh, 
Yeah. So, let me see if I can hover in front of me without actually causing any damage. See if we can get lifting up a bit. Yeah, yeah, that lifts yeah, quite yeah. well. It's quite well. So, because it's on a small bench, we'll um, try outside because because yeah. it, it's not too bad. It's no. quite dry, and I don't no. think it's as windy. But to uh, no, not, not that, not even that windy. yeah. So we'll give it, we'll give it a f go in a sec, and we'll see if this actually works. So we'll get the um, this on a tripod, yep. and you can hold the camera nice and still for us. Yes, I and will. We'll do a flight test. So we're going we're going to actually now watch watch the next one. So we're going to do the flight test of this flying and see what how, how it handles. Oh, look, guys, it got made for flip. Yep, it flips oh, as well. Sick. So it may not be enough juice in the battery, yeah. but we'll get hovering and we'll get it on proper charge then. And then uh, we'll, we'll do a quick flight test for these guys here. Yep. So, um, yeah, so let's go and uh, play. Yes. Bay going to play. Actually, um, uh, you need to put the controller on first. So uh -huh. Bay's, Bay's going to set this up for us. Okay, cool. So he's going to set it up for us. Yep. And I'm just going to give it a quick fly and we'll check it out. Yeah. Hold on to it and oh, nice it still, it. keep it still and straight. That's it. Keep it nice and straight. So, um, that's it. Watch, watch me. Get go straight. That's it. Right, we're testing out. See, right. So um, we'll move it. And stay on the baby. Okay. So yep. yeah, you can see me. It's fine. So give it a go. Okay. Oh, not bad actually. Wind's blowing it quite a bit. They need definitely need battery charging up. I've got door juice, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So 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 for out for outdoors outdoor juice, look at it's um, pretty pretty good actually. So um price went nicely. So what 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 do we do again? So come on there. The wind's blowing towards me. So, um, whoa, that's the wind catching again. A little bit of wind, but there may be a bit of interference from somebody else as well. Yeah, you can hear people just south. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my, guys, my dad is flying it good. Right, it's fine. Go like a cold cone, just hit it. It's got, flip, it's got a flip in it. Yeah, no. Yeah, flip. So, uh, that's about there, okay. We'll try and flip it, yeah? Yeah, I'm so. scared. Okay, guys, we'll try and flip it. There, go. It's actually flipping. What? Maybe not enough power in it. Yeah, probably won't let you put me on. Oh, yes, I know how to flip oh. it, now to flip it. Now Guys, flip it. he did not break the blade no, on it. No, right. <laughs> may, not, may not have enough juice, but we'll, we'll try and flip it, okay? But um, <laughs> it's mainly holding the flip button, going forward and backwards, brings it into a flip. Okay, so we'll try now, it now what he did on his six-bladed yeah. one, oh. and broke the pot. Wrong way round. Wait, right, what? That's it. Right, try again. I need to get I need to get height with it. Yeah, you need to get uh, yeah. right into the sky. Not no, right. Because if what it did on its six blade is Woo! Right. That's that's easy to flip, but it's um it's controlling it. Just watch it's it's controlling the flip because it does it so fast and so quick. Um and you need altitude, but because we've got a little bit of wind here, it's actually is blowing it backwards and forwards. Uh-huh. But for a toy like that. In Good. sort of a, sort of like this sort of, it's not bad. It mm. flies well, and this is great to teach your kids or get you guys, especially you, Bailey, to learn how to fly on these. It's really cool. Yeah. So um. It's great for flipping. Yeah. Right. So what we're going to do is, going to give you a, a go. Okay. What so hold to that. So, so this is um, Bailey's attempt to uh, fly. So what we want to do is Bailey is yeah. want you to. to Add some acceleration as it comes up, not too much. You only need to do little bits at a time, okay? So don't worry about the flipping and okay, stuff. What you need to do is worry about. So first of all, let's get up in the air slowly, slowly, slowly. A bit more, take the lifts, that's it, that's it. 
and then use that to keep it. Is that right? No. Da, 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 sit down. No. <laughs> it's, no get, it's, it's getting practice to doing it. Yeah. But, um, right, so what we'll do is, Bailey, try again slowly. Right, I think what you need to do is come, so you're. That's it. So, so basically, green is its backside. All right. Okay. Okay. Green's backside. So, when it comes backwards, that's your stick to move forward with. Mm -hmm. That's to bring it backwards to you. That's to go uh, left and right. Okay. Okay. So it's going to come back to you when it lifts up. So just go forward a little bit. So baby steps. And it's very tiny movements. Okay. okay. Give it a go. Ah. Wait. 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 Yeah. Come it. Someone's coming in. Yes. Take two. Okay. <laughs> okay little bit of time get up speed go forward that's it ah, no bit of altitude on a okay. sec make sure green's always facing you facing me yeah black wind's you. wind's picking up a bit now so you have to be a bit more careful okay a bit more behind now yeah ah, no 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 gently no th no thrashing it you gotta li Bailey, listen you gotta push it gently up and then you've got to raise it up okay? okay not straight up because if you push it forward it's going to go straight up okay, okay. so little steps okay. try again there we go that's all right there you go that's it forward forward that's it gently so forward gently that's brilliant that's it that's it not too high forward a little bit bring no, no 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 bring it down bring it down now right let go let go that's it. Right. That's it. Go and get it. That's it. Cool. I think I'm worried he's going to lose it then. That right. Bring it back here. Bring it back here. That takes three. Done. All right. We're, we're going to leave it now. We're going to get some charge on it. Okay. okay. So, so far. So let's, let's take it back into the garage. Okay. okay let's go. And um, we'll go over what we did. So, there we go. So. Right, so we get to sort of come to an end in a bit because of the um, battery is obviously wearing down because it's not being charged, it's straight out of the box mm -hmm. and used. Um, and there's obviously a few cars coming in and the wind's picking up. So, little wind speeds, it's brilliant with, outdoors with. Indoors, it'll work perfectly flying with. And it is um, it is actually like flying a proper real thing because with the, this is the real, like, uh, proper remote controller. So, in theory, it's, it's got all the same stick movements and controls, okay? And the difference also with um, you've, on here, you've got a flip mode button here, and you have to hold that press down. And by going forward and backwards really quickly, it will flip it. And I think it's the same with the directional control as well. I haven't tried to do it, I did it quickly, but I needed more altitude <gasps> because we're actually in a quite a, a small, a confined space. It really needs to go in the field to really, really have a go and get, get in it to play, uh, get to play with it properly. But uh, Betty had a hand, as you can see. So, we'll, we'll, uh, tell me how you felt with the controls in your hand, um, or how did it feel to you flying? It made you feel panicky? Yeah, because my fingers down at the bottom of it, and it felt like uh, my fingers to uh, go up and press the flip button. Um, but um, I went too high on it, and I um, I didn't want to let um, go of it. Um, how how did it ball. feel when you was actually physically? flying it so how did it feel when it was actually hovering in front of you because you had it hovering in front of you for a bit yeah. and going forward with it did you make you feel panicky yeah yeah was it yeah. nervous yeah, yeah. Before it, to go it, it was going too high see that's yeah. the trouble with um uh, with these if you if you're panicking and you are and you've got it going way too above your head and you can panic and end up going too high and before you know it's disappeared I was a bit worried with um, Bailey because he was going too high. Yeah. And I said, that's why I shouted, well, not shouted, I said to you, let go of the controls. Because yeah, then it'll, it'll stop going altitude and it'll just come down. There's no GPS on this, so this is, this is proper manual flying. Mm -hmm. And for what it is, it actually handles really well. Yeah. I, this is easy to fly. Pass, pass the nano one up a second. This is much easier to fly than these little ones. Okay? So there's a big difference. The bigger they are, the easier they fly, the smaller they are, the harder they're controlled. So um, yeah, this once my subscriber sent me the um, prop guards for this little nano one. So thank you very much for that. I haven't played this yet. <laughs> so we've got two of these to charge up yep. and give it a go. So this is something you like for Christmas then, would you? Yes. You, you like this one? Yeah. 
Yep. So again, it's um, it's crashed a couple of times. You can see on the video, it did take a bit of a beating as well. Yeah. Um, so nothing we can see physically on here, bent or damaged. So it can take a little bit of a, but I think if it if it crashed really hard or too high, I think this will get busted quite quickly, especially with the teeths um on the bottom. So I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's got a cog around the side, connecting to the motor head here. So it's not like um these big quarters they they're, they're connecting directly onto the motor it's not it's actually offset the motor which i think it would have been better if they're actually directly on the motor as well but for what it is for 60 quid that's not too bad i actually like that i think it's brilliant um i'm gonna play with this a bit more and uh see what um see what we can get over. we'll get some videos yeah. we'll doing some flips oh yeah yeah and we'll get bailey out in the field as well uh, flying this a bit more uh hands-free we'll get a battery charged up for it as well yeah, and um this. yeah yep yes with the charger that's right so and um, what i might do then is as long as we don't as long as we don't break it we might actually do this as a competition prize to win as well so yeah. i think it's quite a nice one there yeah. is another one i'm going to be doing a review very shortly with can you pass the nano one back again it's based on the, the nano one okay because this has got four um props tiny little props but the one i'm going to review i think it has eight of these little props on there uh, and it's about the same size and I, I caught my eye today it was again that was at toys r us and i thought i'm gonna i'm gonna get uh that and review it as well so that'll be the next one we'll do a review on is the nano but the eight I'm sure it's eight or six. Could be, could be six. The one I saw on Toys R Us was six bladed. Six, was it six bladed? Okay. Like a, a teeny, like a yeah, mini version. So yeah, so there'll be yeah. a six bladed one of these. So we'll review that next. Um, now, so now, well. now but <clears throat> apart from that, sixty quid, fifty nine ninety nine from Toys R Us, and yeah. I think that's a good one for test getting your kids to play with, or even if you've not got into the Phantoms or the Inspire and it's your first time out. This could be quite a cheap toy to get and play with because it's got exactly the same controls. Because on here yeah. you've got uh, up and down, and you've got your, uh, your twisting um, back, left and right. You've got your banking left, banking right, as well as forward and backwards. Then you've got your flip button, so you hold the flip down. I suppose in any direction you go really quickly with, it'll flip. It's, it's easy. Press the button, and you go forward and you go backwards really fast. So you go forward, backwards, and sort of slam it into backwards, and it does a flip in that direction. Or, so, or you could do backwards, well, forward. We'll, 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 when we're doing another flight, we'll get the battery charged yeah. up, and we'll, we'll, we'll do another day, because you'll see now it's getting a bit darker now, yeah. and we'll try to see if it flips in all directions and stuff, yeah. and we'll get a really good test over, and we'll get Bailey out, out to the field again, um, playing with this, and yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. So this is, um, Good, I like it. Thumbs up for me. Is it thumbs up for you? Yeah? Yeah. Right, so anyway, so to you guys, speak to you soon. Remember the UK drone show on the 5th and the 6th of December. I've still got tickets to give away, so um, I'm not announcing any winners just yet. So you've got, I know quite a few guys are actually entered in. And uh, so keep that going. So we've still got tickets. Uh, all you need to do in the competition mm. is do uh, in a subject, email it to me. In a subject, uh, email address will be here, okay? Uh, email at subject as competition time, full contact details, and the reason why you want me to give you a ticket to the UK Drone Show. Tickets will all be available for the Saturday and the Sunday. I think I've got about 25 for each day. I'm going to be there on the day, and uh, Simon Newton's going to be there from the, on the kitchen table. Uh, yep. I don't know who else will be in the UK uh, at the UK Drone Show. Yep. Um, he's going to have a, his own little stall there, so you can go up to meet him and. Uh, check them out so I don't know if you guys are subscribers to him which I'm, I am a subscriber and a fan so if Simon if you're watching this um, I will see you on the UK Drone Show and don't forget Simon if you're watching this video is uh, let me know the date and I'll come over and we'll do an interview with you as well which we've we corresponded in an email but somewhere along the line uh, you've been a little bit busy and I've been a little bit busy car been off the road now back on the road so let's let's join up and do a video together so um so you want to say bye bye to everybody bye guys so that I'm Bailey so uh, Fly safe. My name Bailey. Say so fly, fly safe, safe and be and be safe. Yeah. Be safe. Do it. Do it properly. Say so what you can say. Be, be safe. safe.